look at this sun about to come up. It is a beautiful day for almost being October. And uh, where are we today? We are at one of my absolute favorite fall fishing destinations. We are in Minnesota and uh, we've been in Minnesota. I promised you guys a fun Minnesota trip and here we are. And here we've been. And uh, today we are on Lake Winnebagosh, Winnie. And uh, just a phenomenal, one of Minnesota's premier walleye factories. And uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, um, this will be the third day I fished out here. Filmed the first two days, got some incredible, incredible footage that uh, was lost to the Achilles heel of fishing YouTubers. Audio problems, audio issues, crackly audio, bad audio. Could not bring myself to put it on YouTube for you guys. And uh, we're back because of that. We're gonna film the same videos we filmed, maybe a few different fish in it. Um, the last the last time I was here so it's gonna be a phenomenal day and the fishing here is just always very good in the fall um, and it's very good right now like I said I've been out here for a couple days we're gonna catch plenty of walleyes we're gonna catch some big perch and uh, it's a jig bite and generally the way a lot of these really big Minnesota lakes work is you get these huge shoreline shelves and generally you start getting water temps low 60s upper 50s fish start pushing to that shore shelf and uh, they are loaded on these spots out here right now. We're gonna go into, I think we might do two videos. I think we might do one video of just catching a lot of fish, throwing some good information. Then we might do a video on breaking down, how you guys can come out to a big lake like Winnie and uh, break down some of these huge shallow water structures. So today's gonna be a phenomenal day. Um, like I said, sun's just coming out. It's hard to believe it's October because I think it's gonna be almost October. It's like supposed to be almost 75 degrees today. And it's just gorgeous out. And uh, we're gonna capitalize on some beautiful weather and a hot bite. And uh, we got about, I never know where good launches are on this lake. And I've launched at three different ones now and the water is so low everywhere that it's, it's hard to get your boat in. So we got a 10 mile boat ride to where we're gonna fish and where we're gonna start. And uh, let's crack some walleyes. Let's take a boat ride, enjoy the sun coming up out here in Winnebagosh and just catch a ton of fish and get a ton of those classic jig bite. Pop the jig up, boom. Hook set, fish on. We have arrived. It feels good. Oh, what a nice day out. We're gonna put the Minkota down right away here. What a nice scenic boat ride too. Get the Minkota down, get the remote going, and uh, shallow water. And uh, Winnie's kind of, I would say for the most part, kind of known as a shallow water bite. At least most times I've been here in my life, it's been relatively shallow. And I've been catching fish anywhere from literally two feet, three feet on a windy side of the lake, all the way out to kind of nine feet of water. It's about as deep as I've been fishing. And uh, that's pretty common for this lake. Now, one thing which I did, the wind, we've had a lot of this southwest or southeast south wind um, the past few days. And whenever I'm fishing a really shallow bite on these big systems, I always like getting on the windy side of the lake. So this northwest, north side of the lake, it's kind of where we've been fishing a lot. Wind does a couple things. It keeps, uh, seems to just, life in the shallows is good when you got wind. And uh, on top of that, it kind of on these big lakes there's a huge difference in water clarity between the, the windy side and the less windy side and when you have a little bit of dirtier water like you would have on the windy side from that lake just kind of rolling up you get a lot better bite kind of throughout the middle portions of the day in my experience so we're kind of looking at the spot we're going to fish and we'll kind of do a, a two-part video here one this first video we're just going to catch a lot of fish and the second video we're kind of going to go into how you can break down a lot of this really big structure and uh, be super productive, because obviously it can be intimidating. You come to a body of water that's this bit big with this much shallow flats, and where do you start, right? So where we're gonna start our day, though, is with a jig rod in our hand. That's all we're gonna fish the whole day. And we're gonna start out with just a basic live bait, just your classic combination. Favorite jig rod of all time, Elliott Rod 7.3, medium light, fast action. Phenomenal jig rod, real new reel on here we've talked about a little bit the pissy funnel uh, this is the <laughs> i keep mentioning the musky reel 
the Pissifun Alloy X. And this is kind of like a step up from the Carbon X. And it's incredibly light and incredibly smooth and fishes just pairs unbelievably well with a super light, super finesse rod like the 7.3 um, Elliott right here. And I got fluorocarbon on here and fluorocarbon is a good tip whenever you're jig fishing super shallow, you're just gonna end up landing a lot more of these fish. And I'm convinced that you actually get more bites um, when you fish a mono or a fluoro in very shallow water. It kind of keeps that jig a little bit less aggressive and a little bit more floaty. But the big thing is, for me anyways, is that uh, these fish go ballistic when you're fishing in depths of like four or six feet of water. So having a little bit of flexibility in that line ends up landing a lot more fish. right there fish on <laughs> oh, third cast of the day and let me tell you what if you guys are in need of a fall fishing trip and you guys just want to set the hook a hundred times in a day get your boat get a bunch of fat heads get a bunch of eighth ounce jigs get up here to Winnie sometime in the next month and just catch a million walleyes. I mean, this bite is so red hot right now and it's always good every fall, but it just seems like ex exponentially good this year. The perch have been very surprising this year too. And look at that, just a beautiful Minnesota walleye to start the day. Pop that jig just like they're supposed to do it. And uh, like I said, we're kinda, we're gonna do another video on the spots we're fishing, but you know, these spots are really big. So a lot of it's just kinda poking around until you kind of find what you like and let's get baited up do it again right there got him fish on <laughs> oh man you know we filmed a whole bunch of jigging things so far this fall Another nice eater sized fish right there. And uh, I think we can all agree that if you can jig them, if you had the choice between jigging them in 29 feet or jigging them in four feet of water, that we'd probably all rather jig them in four feet of water. And there we go. It's just kind of another, you know, cookie cutter 17 incher way up in the shallows out here. And um, it kind of seems like for whatever reason today that they're just a little bit slower to kind of start start getting really going and uh the other day is it was a lot windier out and i was catching just a lot more fish right off the bat and i can still see them here and uh, i know we're right on them i'm just kind of shuffling around this spot you know just kind of picking them apart as i see them but uh i think it might just take a little bit higher sun and wind pick up a little bit and i think it'll really be game on this is overall relatively calm for how it's been the you know based on the other times i've been out here in the past week here every other day like trolling motor coming out of the water you know, your classic big wind shallow water bite which definitely seemed to have made the bite better but it might just be a, getting a little more sun going on too fish on right there <laughs> Oh man, that is just so cool up in the shallow stuff. Just another one of these little eater guys, but man, when you get to fish them this shallow, it is just too much fun. And they are just gobbling the eighth ounce jigs and minnows, as they should be this time of year. Find a lot of these spots. No perch yet, but we're kind of in, we're not really in much for weeds yet, just kind of gravelly rock here. Once we get into the weeds, we'll start getting perch too. All right, well, you probably noticed it's just a totally different time of day right now. And uh, I don't know what happened there. Actually, I do know what happened, but um, just got super crazy slow. And uh, not slow like, man, we just weren't catching anything. We're still catching a lot of fish. I just like, it was just staring at fish and not catching them. It was flat as a board out here. 
from 8 a.m. until right now, like 6 p.m. <laughs> it was just literally glass calm. I could see the walleyes in the water next to the boat. That's how shallow we're fishing, how clear the water is. And whenever it's like that, generally not good. We're still catching fish, walleyes, perch, pike, but sometimes the video is just not, I'm not, not catching them good enough to my liking. So I deleted the whole middle part of today. Now, like I said, this is like my third day out here, and this is the weirdest day I've fished out here so far. The first day I came out here, found fish, caught fish, found bigger fish, caught bigger fish. Second day, went back to the bigger fish, caught the bigger fish. Today, I'm seeing bigger fish, I'm seeing plenty of fish. It's just, you know, when you're fishing really shallow water and you have just this glass calm in the sleek, just like filtered and like cleaned up a lot since there's no wind today. And uh, it's almost just like too clear, but we finally have like, this is more wind than I've seen in um, the last eight hours of fishing. So uh, we're gonna put the trail more down and go to work and kind of just, you know, whatever happens, happens, right? We could have just made a video of catching like 50 some fish today, a mix of just all sorts of different kind of stuff. But it just kind of got weird and I was kind of just driving around scouting for fish, I feel like most of the day. But um, I've got this little evening window and uh, we'll just see what happens. We'll kind of show you guys, in my opinion, what kind of what makes Winnie so fun is just you catch a lot of fish. Probably not a walleye. Oh, it is a really nice walleye. Look at that. <laughs> Got to turn chesty on. Got to turn chesty on. Look at that for the first one of the evening, huh? That gets a little intense up here in four feet of water. That is exactly what we're after. And I caught one other one here this size earlier today, in the middle of the day, when the cameras were not rolling. But a lot of times if there's one of them here like this there'll be more here like this and a lot of times these bigger fish are generally more affected by by kind of crappy walleye weather than the small ones which is why the middle of the day i caught mostly small ones and today in general i've caught mostly small ones but that's a little more what we're after right there it's a quality i don't know probably 26 inch right there and that is absolutely 100 percent the fish we want Eighth ounce jig, minnow, shallow water, fall jig pitching on a summer day. <laughs> it feels like it's about 80 degrees out today, but look at that. Man, just a gorgeous fish. So much fun in doing it in this super shallow water. Let's let that guy go. Oh, he's nice and angry. Back he goes. Well, I'll sacrifice a few numbers to do that about, I don't know, four or five more times tonight. That was pretty cool. We'll catch a lot more fish than that, but. on feels not too shabby what do we got oh my goodness we are just catching a million of these things right now I don't even know how many of them I'm gonna put in the video <laughs> all these little 14 15 enters fish on right there what do we got another 15 incher <laughs> kind of sound like a broken record but that's just kind of the way it's going like i said if you want to come just jig a hundred walleyes come up on to winnie out here and it can easily be done right now this should be a guaranteed bite here Yep. It definitely was a guaranteed bite. Ooh, we got another big perch. I caught a ton of these things in the middle of the day. That's actually a pretty nice one overall. I've caught plenty of them bigger than that, but this lake is just filthy loaded with a nice perch like that too.
guys. Well, that is going to do it for this video. We are officially off of uh, Winnie and um, much slower day today, much different day. I really wish I didn't blow the audio from um, the previous videos because it was just two totally different experiences. First two days, pounded a lot of nice fish. This day, um, obviously, super flat, calm, super sunny, super tough fishing. Still caught a ton of fish. Kind of didn't film really at all in the middle of the day. It was just a lot of small fish, a lot of perch. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed a nice little jig fishing video from northern Minnesota. Winnie is straight up on fire right now. Whether it looked like it from this video um, or not, you can go there and just catch a couple guys about 100 fish, no problem right now. Um, very easy to do so highly recommend it you know if you guys just want to get out and jig a ton of fish um, get up there to Winnie and uh, catch a bunch of them and uh, yeah what are we doing tomorrow because we got tomorrow to fish as well uh, tomorrow leech definitely doing leech leech is like my favorite fall place it's just I love leech in the fall I just love that lake why didn't we fish there today I was going to fish there today and uh, I went to the bait shop and the guy, um, well the first day when I was fishing out there, the guy's like, you should really go to Leech, you should really, you should really go to Winnie, you should really go to Winnie. So I went to Winnie and just kind of got, um, just kind of wanted to learn more about it. Like I said, I've only fished there like a couple times in the fall, but it's always been very good. So spent a few days out there, caught a whole bunch of fish and uh, tomorrow's Leech Lake. So stay tuned for that. Um, have not fished Leech Lake in about a month. So uh, it's gonna be some catch up to do gonna be another shallow water jig bite and uh, the only problem with leech is generally like um, as long as you got a decent wind is generally just finding a big pot of fish somewhere so um, that's the plan and I uh, appreciate you guys watching if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content and uh, we'll see you guys next time